Welcome to Some Guy's Garage. I came across a discussion recently about parasitic draw for cordless power tools and whether it's okay to leave the battery plugged in all of the time when the tool is not being used or if you should remove the battery. So just a quick video today to show how much draw the tools actually have from the battery when they're just sitting, not getting used. So what I've got here is a quick setup to actually test that. I've got connectors on all of the terminals on the actual tool itself and those will connect to the battery here. And I've put a multimeter in series with the um, positive connector for the tool. So we'll be able to measure the actual draw of the tool through that. I won't be able to measure while it's running just because these aren't really rated for high current, but we'll be able to see what the parasitic draw of the tool is when it's just sitting idle. So I'll just plug all of that in and then we can take a look at how much draw there actually is. Just need to be careful not to short anything out here but we'll get those all connected. And we are connected now to this tool. This is the Atomic uh, cordless drill. So fairly recent model, but also quite basic and a brushless tool at that. So if we take a look at the meter here, we're reading in milliamps right now. I'm gonna switch down to microamps and that'll give us a much closer reading. And you can see here, we're reading about 2.5 microamps. So to put that in perspective, a microamp is one one millionth of an amp. At this draw of 2.5 microamps, this tool could actually run for close to 100 years on a two amp hour pack. So it's a pretty minuscule amount of power that it's actually drawing. And just to prove that it is actually drawing power, if I do connect, disconnect here, you can see it goes down to basically zero. Um, and reconnecting there, we're back to that 2.5 microamps. So just for your basic tools, there really is no draw and given how long it would last at this amount of current draw, basically means you can leave the tool on the battery all the time and it'll never self discharge. So the other tool I have here though is a Bluetooth connect tool. It has built in Bluetooth that would connect to the app and be able to track and monitor these tools. So let's take a look at just how much more energy this draws as opposed to the basic tool without any extra smarts or connectivity in them. So I'll just swap all those leads over now. Okay, we're swapped over. Just need to be really careful about making sure none of those are shorted. And we'll connect all the stuff to the battery again as well here. So those amps, can you show else? Right there. So taking a look at the meter now, we can see we're drawing right around a thousand microamps, just about, or about one milliamp. That's 400 times more than this tool is drawing. And if you do the math on that, this tool would actually drain the battery um, in around three months. Keeping in mind, this is a two amp hour battery. So a larger, let's say a five amp hour would last a bit longer. You get maybe closer to six months with it. So with this kind of tool, it actually makes a difference um, if you do unplug your batteries within three months alone. So let's say you just left it in the garage over winter or something like that. This would self discharge a two or a five amp hour pack in that amount of time. Depending on the type of tool, actually leaving the battery plugged in does have an impact. But with most cordless tools like this, they only draw one, two, three microamps, and it's not really enough to worry about, but these ones, it actually does make a difference. Anyway, that's it for today. Just wanted to lay to rest whether you can actually leave your batteries connected to your cordless tools and if it will draw them down with the parasitic draw. The answer is, it depends. For tools that have the built-in Bluetooth or anything like that, any connect mechanism, you probably want to unplug these if you're going to leave them for more than, say, a week. But with the standard tools that don't have any smarts in them or anything like that, you're probably good to just leave them all the time. By the time you use it again, it won't have had an impact on the battery. If you have any other questions about this, let me know in the comments below. If you aren't already subscribed, please consider it. And as always, thanks for watching.